the 29th of May 2023 and the streets of Abuja is unusually dry. That is because the inauguration of Honorable Ahmed Bola Tinubu is ongoing. The question now is, what do Nigeria expect from him? Knowing fully where he already stated that we shouldn't pity him. He campaigned for this job and he's ready to work. What do you really think Nigeria expects from the new government? I wouldn't know until we ask. Come, let's go ask them. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Okay, so welcome to Talks with Oluhi. So we quickly want to ask you, what do you, what do you expect of this new government, the whole Bola Ahmed Tinubu being the new president of Nigeria? Yeah, since 6 a.m. this morning, yes. knowing that I'm going to have a new president, okay. I begin to notice some changes in me. Because Buari had to go. Oh. The worst had to go. Now, mm -hmm. Ahmed Tinibu has come in. Tinibu is a different... I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a PDP fan. Okay. Let me start it that way. But I love Tinibu's mm -hmm. intervention to the suffering of Nigerian people. Oh, really? Tinibu is going to revive... He's going to, he's going to bring up APC. Because he has seen the, the deficiencies of Buhari. The deficiencies of Buhari alone should... To give the next person an uplift. And I see it, I'm a Tinibu, the person that is going to revive APC government. Mm. He's going to be wonderful. Okay. He has his pedigree in Lagos, is enough. Oh, we are expecting a lot from our new government. Okay. You know, as it is now, um, we all voted him, and I believe the Lord is working with him too. So we are expecting to change our economy, our um, educational status, you know. Right. Because education is very, very important in Nigeria because a lot of people have talked about education that is very low. A lot of people go to the US, UK to do their education, you know. But now, as he's there now, he should do a lot of things there. I know it's not easy. You know, it's just changing things at the, at the moment. At least you take some steps at the right time. Okay. Do you understand? But what we want him to do now is to make people happy. People are not really happy in Nigeria. Yeah. I can tell you that I myself are not really happy in Nigeria. I'm too young to be complaining for my next future children. I'll be like, this is what I've experienced before. No, we want a great plan for our future. Mm -hmm. Our future is very, very matters a lot right. in Nigeria. Right. Well. You know, we are in a democratic setting, so um, new government is always going to be emerging from time to time, according to constitution. So we as Nigerians, good citizens of Nigeria, we take the faith and expect more progress. You understand? In, a, in as much that sometimes when your expectation is too much, government can come and they begin to do otherwise, aside from what they promise. But if there is hope, like they say, the renewed hope, we keep on hoping and expecting for a better change, a better government and better Nigeria. Definitely, we expect a real change. I mean, this should be the real change. Maybe the first change is uh, the other way around, but maybe this time around. We should expect something better from them because they are the owner of the party. They form APC, so definitely... Tinibu is going to bring the change we are looking for. Okay, so you are positive about this new government? So positive, definitely. Oh, nice. As a Nigerian youth, I'm so impressed. God Almighty bless you with a good government like Ahmad Tinibu, Bola Tinibu. He's a very great leader, you know, he knows much about politics and God has given him such a person. I'm expecting a lot from him and I'm, 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 I'm expecting him to take good care of this country, the, the issue on ground, concerning our security and the poverty rate in this country. I'm expecting Ahmad Bola Tinibu to come and eradicate poverty in Nigeria. Mm, but let me say before, I wasn't that sure. But for the past one week now, there's this feeling that I have towards the new president that mm. maybe he's going to make changes. I just have that personal feeling and that personal belief okay. that by the grace of God, and I believe at least for the so far so good, even if we've not been to Lagos, we've heard about what he's doing when he was a governor of a Lagos state. So at least we, we believe is been in politics for so long and so we believe that with the capacity and the idea that he has gained so far so good he'll be able to like take nigeria from where it is now to the next level by the grace of god so we are optimistic and hoping that he should look into the lapses of the outgoing yeah. administration to make amend and to make some correction that will really alleviate the suffering of the masses mm -hmm. because indeed the masses are not happy with the outgoing administration truth must be told yeah. And for him to really, you know, salvage that damage and the image of their party in question, 
you know, then he needs to sit up and do the needful. The issue of cabal and, you know, people hijacking the government must be, you know, looked into critically and done away with. Because if he allowed to go through the trajectory of the outgoing, you know, administration, that the cabal were able to hijack everything, you know, not allow him to be able to reason even well. To listen to the plight of the masses as if he was brought in by the cabal and ruled by the cabal. We don't expect that to, to continue. Okay. Tunubu, the president elect, will come and change the, the, the biography of uh, what uh, APC, a co injunction, APC party, Buhari have done. Tunubu has a, he ha, he has a respect, he has a name. See. They were working on the transportation, that's one. Two, food stops. You know, the past government, the closed border, which we suffered. If this one will open the border and make things better for us in terms of food, we will be okay. Honestly speaking, today is a brand new day. The new Nigeria and also the brand new hope for us. Because since from the beginning of his campaign, I've seen so many inspiring things that he's been doing. And also, I believe that today, henceforth, we are going to get a real dynamic Nigeria, a great development country. Because today, it serves as a day that Nigeria is going to be renewed to the certain level that we are going to feel comfortable. The all of the steam of this country, we have that hope that we are going to live a good nation as one family. And also, I'm also praying for our brand new president, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, our icon personality, the distinguishing honorable mentor that is, has been mentored many people and everyone can witness it because he has been built Lagos to be as a development country that can hold themselves without, without even federal government revenue.